Good morning, buns. We have a new update coming to Final Fantasy XIV, and I'm going to rapid fire through these like I usually do for you guys. Make sure to limit break through that like button and leave a comment. It's free and it really helps to support the channel. 6.4 is going to release May 23rd. We're getting new MSQ, new dungeon, new trials, which look very cool. And I can't wait to continue this MSQ to see what happens. There will also be a change of Unreal Trials to Containment Bay Z1 T9 and the last installment of the Pandemonium Raids P9 through P12, which means new Savage tier. Huge update to gear for Savage is the chest piece is now going to be dropping in P11 instead of P12 and it should give a pretty big boost in stats. We will no longer be getting duplicate armor pieces drops and they are going to do one big chest instead of a few smaller chests but it's going to be the same amount of rewards. I have been raiding this last tier but unfortunately I will not be able to this next tier due to IRL stuff so I'm looking forward to seeing everyone else wearing the really cool gear. For all my introvert buns out there we're going to be getting duty support for Stormblood, Siren Song, Bardem's Metal, Doma's Castle, Castra Mabania, and Alamigo. They did mention job adjustments coming for 6.4 which we will not know until right before the launch of the new patch. They did say no rotation changes though, so we're only going to be looking at DPS increase or decrease numbers and maybe some quality of life changes, which they do announce for Dragoon. Jump and high jump will no longer affect the character's position. They are also going to increase the radius of several party buffs up to 30 yom, so that should help with some damage numbers in rating. For my crafter and gatherer buns, we'll be working hard towards crafting the new crafted battle gear that will happen in 6.4 along with the new tome zones that will be dropping. Fairy glamours will be available for scholar. I wonder how many people are actually going to glam the fairy to carbuncle. Do you guys prefer Carbuncle or the Fairy? I'm kind of torn on it. Actually, one of the more exciting things for me personally are the Island Sanctuary updates coming in 6.4. We are now able to place furniture up to 90 slots on your island home, so it's essentially turning into a type of housing for players, which much of the community was hoping for was going to be the case, and they're kind of moving towards that now. Not only that, we're going to be getting new ranks, rewards, mounts, all sorts of things coming to Island Sanctuary. So if you have not started, start now. A few minor reminders, don't forget fashion accessories will now be displayed in the overworld. Job icons will now be displayed in the chat log and on player nameplates. And the continuation of Tataru's Grand Endeavor side quest, which will require the sorrows of well, will it, will it, I can't say that in order to begin it. I have included the trailer link in the description so you can watch it if you so choose. 6.45 on the other hand has quite a few things coming as well which is generally quite a few weeks around 8 or so after 6.4. These are actually what I'm looking forward to which is the new variant Criterion Dungeons, progression on the Splendorious Tool Relic, next portion of Manderville Relics which is apparently going to be just more tomes apparently maybe which at this point we can just expect and last but certainly not least our update to our favorite limited blue job which i know personally i am really looking forward to this is your two hour light letter condensed in just a few minutes i appreciate all the support hitting that like button and commenting are free and it's the best way to help support my channel if you want to watch the vast amount of guides and tutorials I have on Final Fantasy XIV, you can find my major playlists in the description box or on my channel, or you can just start by clicking here.